Kaminga driving, looking for Wiseman. Ball on the floor. Wiseman comes right back up and attacks the glass. The Detroit Pistons were close to getting Cam Reddish and Cameron Johnson at the trade deadline. Unfortunately, those deals didn't pan out. But there was one that did as the Pistons sent Sadiq Bey to the Atlanta Hawks and Kevin Knox to the Trailblazers. And who did the squad get in return? Well, it was former number two pick James Wiseman, who most people, including myself, feel is a bust. So in this video, we're going to see how James Wiseman fits on the Detroit Pistons. Rookie Jalen Duran has exceeded expectations this season and has earned his starting spot, while Isaiah Stewart is trying to develop at the power forward position. So with Bagley out and Noel being unplayable, the Pistons needed another center. And surprisingly, it was James Wiseman who answered the call. Wiseman is a 7 foot center who is good at posting up and he can block shots. On offense, he's got a lot of moves around the basket and his height gives him advantage over most players. So look for him to mostly attack in the paint. Another aspect of his game on offense is his 3 point shooting. He didn't take a ton of these shots with the Warriors, but that will change with the Pistons. I can see Wiseman practicing with Stu and Duran on shooting once he gets here. Moving on to defense, it's possible Wiseman can be an elite shot blocker. He's 7 feet tall and has a 7'6 wingspan. With those tools, he's able to send shots to the shadow realm. Jimmy will get this up over the shot blocker, well timed by Wiseman. Uh, being able to come across and make a play as a left-handed player, so he got to a strong The squad left. needed a defensive anchor off the bench, and it looks like Wiseman fits the bill. As for the other aspects of his game, they are unpolished as Wiseman hasn't played many games due to his injuries. So it will take time for him to develop other parts of his game. Look for Dwayne Casey to give him a ton of minutes to see if this trade was worth it. The main area I hope he improves in is rebounding. For how tall he is, you'd hope he would be better at it. Hopefully being coached by Ben Wallace will help him improve that part of his game. Last note on Wiseman is who he is as a person. Troy Weaver is on record saying it's about bringing in the correct person rather than the player. So I'm thinking Wiseman left a good first impression on Troy back in 2020, and that's why the Pistons went after him. So my final verdict for James Wiseman's fit with the Detroit Pistons is a C. There's a high chance he can turn his career around here in Detroit just like Marvin Bagley. There's also a high chance he's Greg Oden 2.0 with his injury history. On top of that, his fit with Dern, Stu, and Bagley looks rough on paper. But if he can overcome his faults, the Pistons will have a solid backup center who can have an impact on both sides of the floor. And that was with this video. How do you guys feel about the Pistons' newest addition? Let me know in the comments below. I have one more video on this trade out sometime tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. In the meantime, All-Star Weekend is on the way. Jay Ivey and Jalen Dern are already heading to the Rising Stars Tournament. Alright guys, if you're still shocked... <coughs> <laughs> Alright guys, if you're still shocked about what happened today, hit that like button and subscribe to see more Pistons content. That's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.